Hello everyone. Today I will teach you guys how to create your first simple basic hello world application. We are going to use parameterized pipeline build job to create this hello world pipeline and we are also going to use shell script to configure it. Notice that uh, uh, there are different different ways you can configure your job and it is totally up to your comfort zone. This is our Jenkins landing homepage and we'll click on new item and we'll create a freestyle project. I'll name it as my first pipeline. I'll click on OK. You'll have a bunch of options and then you can study Jenkins gradually, but I'm going to concentrate on two basic options here. The first is the project is parameterized. What do you mean by parameters is that you prompt the user or the person who's running the pipeline to pass a parameter of certain nature to your pipeline and this variable, this parameter, you can use inside your shell script. There are different kinds of parameter. It could be Boolean, it could be choice and whatnot but we will use a string parameter. Let's call it first name. Let's add another parameter called last name. Notice here that we're going to learn how to pass these parameters inside your shell script. We'll go straight away to the build action. Build action is the center point of your pipeline build what action is exactly going to be executed. So we're going to add a build step. Notice that you can add an AND script or a Gradle script. We're going to execute a shell. We're going to add a shebang here and we're going to run two basic echoes. One is echo hello world. The second is Another echo where we're actually going to try and pass the parameters that we have taken from the users and try to print it here. So my name is the way you do pass the parameters inside your shell script is by using a dollar sign in front of the parameter name. It's going to be my name is dollar first name space dollar last name. We're going to save this job. And then once we have, we have a job created, we'll go and click on build with parameters. As soon as I click on build with parameters, it is going to prompt me to pass the same parameters that I had configured in my job. Let's pass Ashish Jain. If I click on build here, it is going to submit a build job for this particular project. And this particular build project is going to build a job. If you see, there's a successful job build created here. If I click on the job here, I see when it was executed and the user who executed this build job. We'll go to console output and here I see, hello world, my name is Ashish Jain, which means that my bash script ran inside the Docker container running my Jenkins and I was successfully able to process that bash command and run my first pipeline. Try it out on your own Jenkins and reach out to me for any queries. Please follow the previous video to install and set up Jenkins and more videos for more complicated and AWS or cloud related Jenkins pipelines. Thank you guys. Welcome to Simply Clouded. Keep tuned in for more. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for more such videos at Simply Clouded. To subscribe our channel, please hit the bell icon at the bottom.